have came with at another video in applied mechanics and in this video we will solve out the tutorial problem of dynamics our problem is three blocks a having mass 5 kg block b having mass 10 kg and block c having mass 10 kg are connected by rope and pulley arrangement as shown in the figure given Neglecting the mass of the pulley, determine each acceleration of each block and tension in the cable. So we are presented this pulley arrangement system where there are three blocks A, B and C and A, C. So masses A and C are connected by a pulley arrangement having one continuous rope. Well, the block B is connected by a another rope. We are also given that the coefficient of static and kinetic friction as 0.24 and 0.2 respectively. Now friends, let us assume that the positions of A block b block and c block b xa xp and xc respectively and we also assume that t1 be the tension in this continuous rope a d e f c so this is the continuous rope and we have assumed that the tension in this rope is acting as t1 likewise we have assumed that the tension in the block b b t2 so again we have assumed that the acceleration of block A, block B and block C B respectively A, 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 B and A, C. Now friends, we shall determine the relationship between the accelerations associated with each block A, B and C. For that, we need to use the continuous rope A, D, E, F, C. So what we can write is, since this is a continuous rope, the summation of positions shall also be constant. So what we can write is, X, A is the position of block A plus X, B is the position of block B plus X, B plus xc equals to a constant so since this is row continuous rope and the sum of the distance of the rope is continuous that is constant so what we can write is xc plus xb plus xb plus xc equals to constant so xa plus xb plus xb plus xc equals to constant so if we solve this we shall receive xa plus 2 times xb plus xc a constant equals to a constant let us suppose that it be k so if we derivative this we shall receive first velocity again if we derivative the velocity with respect to time we shall receive the acceleration so what we can write is the acceleration of block b can be written as minus 1 by 2 as lesson of block A and the as lesson of block C. So this is the relationship between block A, B and C. Here the negative sign indicates that the direction of the block B will be away from the reference plane while the block A and block C shall move towards the reference plane and the block B shall move away from the reference plane. So this is the significance of negative sign and while solving we shall only use the magnitude value and the negative value just indicates the direction of motion of block. Now we shall consider the 
free body diagram of individual block A, B and C. So let us consider the free body diagram of block A. So the for the block A, uh, the mass of the block A is 5 kg and it will move towards the reference plane since the mass is lesser than the mass of the block B. So what we can write is the weight will be acting downward and since it is moving towards right what we can write is the friction force shall develop and the kinetic friction force fk shall induce in this body and the tension will be acting away from the block and the normal reaction r will be there so what we can write is the free body diagram of block a as shown in the figure so so what we can write is summation of forces in block a equals to the inertial force or inertial vector that is ma a a so this is the inertial vector ma a so if you solve that t1 minus f k equals to m a a a isn't it so what we can write is t1 is t1 minus fk what is fk fk is the kinetic friction force so this is mu times r isn't it so mu is mu k that is coefficient of kinetic friction in this case it has been given as 0 0.2 0 0.2 into r r is equals to w a that's value is equals to w a is 5 into z that is 5 into 9.81 equals to 5 times the acceleration of block A. So if you solve that, what we can get is tension in block 1 minus 9.81 equals to 5 times as lesson in block A. So let us suppose that this shall be equation 1. Considering the free body diagram of block B, what we can write is the weight will be acting downward and there is the another roof that is attaching the weight w that is block b so we have assumed that tension in the block b of roof is t2 isn't it and the block b shall move downward so the inner cell vector is mbab downward acting downward so what we can write is summation of forces in y direction that is vertical direction is equals to the net force or inertial vector mb ab so summation of forces is weight of block acting downward is greater than tension so wb minus t2 equals to the mass of block b times acceleration of block b so if we solve this what we can get is so weight so mass of block p is 10 kg into g is 9.81 minus tension t2 equals to 10 ab so what we can write is 9.81 sorry 98.1 minus t2 98.1 minus t2 
equals to 10 a b so let this equation be second now we can draw the free body diagram of block p so the tension t1 will be acting away from this mass or block c as shown in the figure weight wc will be acting vertically downward and if it is moving towards left side then the frictional dynamic friction force fk will be acting towards right and the bacterial inertial vector mcac will be acting leftward so we can write is summation of force equals to the inertial vector so summation of force is in this case is t1 minus fk so fk is what this is the kinetic friction force that is mu times the normal reaction so mu is again 0.2 normal reaction is what wc wc is mass of block c into g equals to mc mc is 10 mc is 10 kg into acceleration of block c ac so if we solve this tension in this case t1 minus 19.62 equals to 10 ac so this is let this be is equation 3 now we shall consider the free body diagram of pulley as well since this tension t1 and t1 will be acting away from this pulley e and t2 will be acting away from this pulley as shown in the figure so we can write is t2 equals to 2 t1 so we have obtained the relationship between the tension acting in the string as t2 equals to 2 times t1 now now we shall solve out this and we will get the values of a a b and a c so from equation second so what we can write is 98.1 minus t2 t2 is what we get t2 is 2 times t1 2 times t1 equals to 10 as lesson of block b so as lesson of block b and we have obtained the relationship between a and block b and block a and c so it is 1 by 2 times a plus a c a a plus a c we can write this isn't it so equals to 98 implies that 98.1 minus 2 t1 so t1 is related with a a so t1 we can write is 5 a plus 9.81 from earlier equation t1 is minus 2 t1 is 5 times a a 5 as lesson of block a plus 9.81 plus 9.81 equals to this is 5 times a a plus 5 times a c a c so if we solve this our equation shall come out in terms of a a and a c on solving that we can get 15 
a a that is s lesson of block a plus 5 times s lesson of block c minus 78.48 78.48 equals to 0 so let it this equation this is my negative sign let this equation be equation 4 Now, from the equation third, what we can write is T1 is given from equation 1, that is T1 is 5A plus 9.81. So, 5 times AA plus 9.81 minus 19.62 equals to 10 times AC. So, if we solve this, what we will get is the one equation that is in terms of A and C. 5 A minus 10 A C as lesson of block C minus 9.81 minus 9.81 equals to 9.81 equals to 0. So this let this equation be equation fifth. Now we have got equation four and five that is in terms of S lesson of A and S lesson of block C. So we can easily solve out this and we can get the S lesson of block A and block C. So solving equation four and five. We get S lesson of block A as 4.76 meter per second square acting rightward. Likewise, S lesson of block C is 1.40 meter per second square that shall be acting leftward. And the S lesson of block B is 1 by 2 A plus AC and if we solve that it will come out to be 3.083 meter per second square. This is negative and it is acting downward. So if we solve in equation 1 if we put S lesson of block A, then we can easily get the tension in the rope T1 as 33.635 Newton. Again, T2 is 2 times T1 and it will come out to be 67.27 Newton. So, while solving this type of problem, it is essential for us to derive the relationship between the position, velocity, and acceleration of each block and making the free body diagram and observing the direction of motion and equating the forces equating the summation of forces with res respect to the net force that is the inertial vector and at last we need to solve out the equations so as to obtain the unknown values hope this video will be beneficial for you people please like share and subscribe bliss being as well thank you